Item number, SCP-864, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-864 is to be held in a standard containment chamber, located in Site-77's Euclid SCP Wing. This chamber is to be kept devoid of any moisture, and inspected once a day to check the seal. During testing, no personnel are to enter the testing area. In the event that articles of clothing manifest, they are to be stored as non-anomalous artifacts. Description SCP-864 is a 20-centimeter tall wash basin with a 10-centimeter radius, composed of red metal commonly found in wash basins. The words Made in China and Cherry Imperial Golf Applications are imprinted on the bottom with black ink. No company of that name is found anywhere in China. When SCP-864 contains at least 200 milliliters of water, it will manifest an instance of SCP-864-1. Instances of SCP-864-1 designates a series of appendages which have appeared from SCP-864. Instances of SCP-864-1 may attempt to seize a human subject within their reach and violently pull them into SCP-864. Instances of SCP-864-1 do not always attempt to take the subjects, with tests showing that the majority of SCP-864-1 instances will make no attempt to attack human subjects. No subjects taken through SCP-864 have been recovered. Instances of SCP-864-1 known to have manifested include four human arms, estimated to be 60 centimeters long, lurched after a D-class personnel, but were not able to catch him, retreated into SCP-864 after being engaged by four security personnel, humanoid appendages resembling SCP-1193, did not respond to stimuli and withdrew during SCP-1193's next activation event. Seven black cephalic tentacles, approximately 90 centimeters long and about 10 centimeters in diameter at the base, attempted to push SCP-864 on its side and take several articles of clothing left in the testing chamber. Instance D manifested on its own. Three dark green crustacean pincers, estimated to be 70 centimeters long, attempted to drown a D-class personnel until supervising guards managed to free her. Instance retreated after being engaged by Agent Boyd. Six segmented mechanical claws, approximately one meter in length, seized a D-class personnel and a guard trying to pry the arm loose. Instances folded into SCP-864. Three red cephalic tentacles, estimated to be three meters in length, attempted to seize a D-class personnel, but one instance was severed by a guard with a knife. The two other instances retreated, and the severed portion showed no anomalous properties. Testing has shown that SCP-864 extends a distance of two kilometers when manifesting an instance of SCP-864-1, after which it terminates in a steel hatch, with the words Black Dragon Co. embossed in it. Robotic drones sent inside of SCP-864 have found that, while active, the interior is composed entirely of SCP-864-1 instances, handling various garments. As of 1-16-2013, Approximately 11% of these have been identified as originating from Earth. Of those, only 32 appear to originate from after 1900. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-863, Patchwork Crabs, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.